Hey, what is up guys? Manu here for C4E Tech and in this video, we're going to unbox and take a quick look at the Nvidia Shield tablet. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is the box that the Nvidia Shield tablet comes in. Uh, on the box, on the front, we have an image of the nvidia shield itself with the stylus which i'll talk about in just a moment uh, it also says it's an 8 inch uh, screen and on the side we have some quick specifications and on the back we have more features of the nvidia shield itself and um, on top it says nvidia and on the bottom it doesn't say anything else so let's dig right into the box Okay, the first thing you see after opening the box is the Shield tablet itself. And the foam padding inside the box is really nice, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, let's take out the Shield tablet. Anyway, we'll come to the NVIDIA Shield in just a quick moment. Uh, let's take a quick look what else we get inside. Okay, looks like we get a cable for the controller. It says to use it with the controller, but it's a micro USB cable. Uh, we have a wall adapter. Uh, I guess we'll have uh, proprietary pins inside the box. This is just a this is just a wall adapter. And we have a booklet with safety and warranty information. So the last thing in the box is the pin that I was talking about. This is the then that goes into the wall adapter. Ah, there we go. So this is how the uh, pin actually goes into the wall adapter. So let me quickly put everything aside and now uh, let's take a look at the Nvidia Shield itself. So this is the Nvidia Shield in all its glory. Uh, it says the ultimate tablet for gamers. So so let's peel off the plastic. So this is the Nvidia Shield tablet and looks like I already have a few fingerprints on the screen. Uh, anyway. The NVIDIA Shield tablet is powered by the Tegro K1 processor which houses 4 Cortex-A15 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz each. The chipset also houses a 192 core Kepler architecture GPU. The display of the Shield tablet is an 8 inch 1920 by 1080 display with multi-touch, has a 5 megapixel camera on the front and also a 5 megapixel camera on the back. Now the Shield tablet weighs in at 390 grams but it is a bit on the thicker side. The thickness being 9.2 millimeters. So anyway, let me quickly turn on the tablet. And while it's turning on, let us quickly go over uh, the hardware of the tablet itself. Now on the front, we have two speakers on the top and the bottom, the uh, 5 megapixel front facing camera, the 8 inch uh, 1080p screen. And on the back, we have a 5 megapixel rear facing camera, uh, Nvidia Shield branding. And on the top, we have another speaker, most probably a subwoofer. Uh, Next to it we have a micro USB port and next to that we have a micro HDMI out and also we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack. On the bottom we have another speaker again that that is most probably again a subwoofer. And uh, to the side we have the power button, volume rockers, a micro SD card slot and on the other side uh, we have two slots, most probably for a cover or a custom case. Anyway, we're up now. Uh, let me quickly run through setup. Alright guys, we're up and um, looks like the Nvidia Shield runs on an almost stock version of Android. It does run on KitKat. About tablet. Yeah, it runs on KitKat 4.4.2. So the NVIDIA Shield tablet comes with a neat little stylus that is placed conveniently in the bottom right corner. You just pull it out and then it'll uh, open the direct stylus launcher. This this is called the direct stylus. Uh, NVIDIA uses a different kind of technology for this instead of the standard Wacom that is used in all of the uh, Galaxy Note devices. So when you pull out the stylus you have this uh, quick little window launched and th these are the apps that currently support direct stylus. So let, let's just check out what this can do. Let's go into NVIDIA Dabbler. So the interesting thing about this stylus is that it has a non-regular tip. It has a pointed end and it also has a kind of a angled tip to it. So 
what the direct stylus technology does is it can detect which part of the stylus is touching the screen. Say for example, I'm touching the screen with the pointy end, the line will be thin. If I'm touching the screen with, with the uh, flat end, the, the line will be obviously thicker. It can also sense pressure. So if you uh, apply a lot of pressure with the thin end, it'll make the line darker and thicker. So that is a quick little glance at the NVIDIA Direct Stylus. So one thing that I noticed is that unlike, unlike the Galaxy Note 3 stylus, this stylus does not really have any buttons. So that is a really quick look at the uh, Direct Stylus. So I guess that's pretty much it for this quick little unboxing and hands-on guys. If you want to uh, pick up the NVIDIA Shield tablet, you can do that from Amazon.com. I leave a direct link in the description. And uh, while you're down there, make sure you like this video if you liked it. And if you want to see more, make sure you stay subscribed. I guess that's pretty much it again for this video. Hope you guys liked it. This is Manu again for C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.